Hello, welcome to the first in a series of videos on the Victor platform, the Volcanology Infrastructure for Computational Tools and Resources, or Victor for short, is a set of tools and resources for the scientific volcanology community. Initially funded by the EarthCube pilot program, we aim to make data-driven volcano science and modeling as accessible as possible. So to start, let's take a brief tour of the Victor website. So here it is. It's located at uh, victor.ldel, Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, .columbia .edu. Uh, So this site includes information about the Victor program overall, as well as events that we host, such as workshops or virtual sessions. We can also provide information on the primary research team along with its steering committee. It has an education tab dedicated to providing videos and papers utilizing Victor uh, as it, and we'll add to this as it continues to grow. So to ensure all of our resources are connected, we also have links to the hub itself, the signup form, and the documentation. So moving along, our documentation, which you can find over here, is located at victor.readthedocs.io, and it gives us some important information to get users up to speed. Here in the usage tab, you can find a guide for registering for the platform, a brief overview of the launcher. You can find uh, information on the models and other tools, as well as citations uh, for all of the models that we used. The models tab provides uh, summaries of each supported model on Victor and their associated workflows along with thorough references to support more curious users in their research journeys. Finally, the Victor Library tab provides code documentation for all the custom code that has been written to make a volcanologist's life easier. So now onto the main event, the Victor Hub, which again you can find here on the Hub portal. Uh, the Victor Hub, a modular cloud computing environment packed with all the tools a modern research scientist could need can be found over here at a victor.2i2c.cloud, although you can also just press on the link on the home page. This uses the open source Jupyter Hub project, and with it, users are provided with lightweight and highly functional machines to write code and analyze data in a variety of programming languages, although Python through a Jupyter Notebook allows it to shine the most. So upon entering the site, uh, users will be met with some basic information in regards to the hub, echoing what our other resources have said. So as a registered user, which I am here, we can log in. There are a couple of different options for machine size going all the way up to 16, 16 cores and 60 gigs of RAM. But for now, all we really need is a small server. We'll go with the two core, eight gig of RAM server here, the smallest size. We'll start it and we'll come back in a minute or two when our server is loaded. Now that we've loaded in, let's take a look. So at first glance, two main sections draw focus. We have the launcher over here on the right, providing a variety of different buttons to start tools. So here users can start interactive Jupyter notebooks, open text files to program in any language, or even access their virtual desktop which provides access to useful GIS and model visualization tools. To the left over here is our home directory, uh, which is unique to each user with a shared folder over here, uh, which catches our eye. Inside the shared folder is the heart of Victor. Here in the models folder, it contains as aptly named, all the computational models that users may want. It contains models for PDCs, ash, lava, tephra, and more. The full source code for each model is stored on Victor and relevant repositories are referenced. In the workflows folder are the custom Jupyter notebooks that initialize, run, and visualize nearly all of the models on Victor. The Victor library and its full source code is uh, stored in the libraries folder, which will expand to include other external libraries as the project grows. Additional content includes common DEMs, set of scripts and content from previous courses and workshops utilizing Victor. So now that we've taken a look at the options available, we'll go through an example. So to set up a model, we simply open the terminal 
and we run the victor command. Uh, here in this case, I'll select molasses, which is nine. Uh, this is a cellular automata-based lava simulator created at USF by Charles and Laura Connor, and it's made to do rapid, rough estimates of lava placement. Uh, I can run it. It's going to tell me the folder already exists because I have it downloaded. Uh, and if we look in the home directory, of course, there is now a molasses folder that has appeared with everything that we need, including uh, the executable, uh, a DEM, and a notebook. If we open this notebook, we can immediately see the perks of using said notebook. The top of the notebook over here has been very neatly formatted uh, in Markdown to introduce the user to the content that they're going to be interacting with. And then the rest of the notebook will continue to intermingle text and code cells. We can import all the necessary all the necessary libraries in this first cell. And then rather than running one long chunk of code, we can segment it into much more manageable cells. So molasses, as opposed to deterministic physics-based models, uses a discrete automata-based method. So only a few parameters are really required. Uh, in the next code cell over here, we've specified values to work for the example topography given. So for now, we'll keep all of this as is. Molasses asks for a residual uh, or value which, uh, at which to overflow onto the next cell, as well as the total volume, uh, or in this case, volume per pulse. It also asks for the events uh, down here, uh, which is the latitude and longitude of each event activity. And the next couple of cells down here, uh, they format input files and display the DEM as a validity check. Uh, we can run this entire model using a Python wrapper and then run all the subsequent cells without changing anything. We'll get a very clean, detailed representation of the flow using a specialized plot flow function from the Victor library. So if I choose to run all of these cells, I'm running them a second time, but you can see it gives us a very clean, detailed representation of all of the flow uh, down here. Just give it one second. Yeah, you can see a very detailed representation of all of the flow uh, using our special plot flow function. So this is just one example of the dozens of different research tools and approaches that are available for use on Victor. I hope this video has shined some light on what the platform can be used for. Uh, please feel free to contact the team at victor at ldeo.columbia.edu if you're interested in contributing to this project in any way. And thank you for taking the time to listen.